Hello, I'm Jonathan D. Collins, and this is the lovely Dorothy. Hello. And we're bringing you number three in our festive mince pie review. Um, and if our butler could please bring on our mince pies. Thank you. Oh, nice owl tray. Owl tray. Excellent. Um, what do we have? Today we have short crust mince pies by only two for two pounds from Morrison's. I didn't buy two for two pounds. They're one pound forty nine. Uh, we're eschewing the multi buy offer. Um, not something that under normal conditions you would do. Um, but but in, for for review purposes, we're only going with one at a time. Um, so they're one pound forty nine for the six. Um, now these are hand finished in your store, which doesn't mean that they're baked there. And suitable for vegetarians. Are you a vegetarian? No, I'm not. Okay, it doesn't matter then, does it? Um, best before the 9th of December. They have a much shorter shelf life. You won't be seeing these on the shelves come February, whereas hopefully you will the rest of them. I do hope so. Um, if you'd like to open that up, that would be good. Um, just as an aside, uh, we have had a number of communicants uh, who are accusing us of taking the supermarket dollar. I'd just like to point out that that large Sainsbury's van that was outside my house yesterday was delivering to a neighbour and those huge crates of mixed pie, mince pies that came in were not really for us. Um, so, how, how was that? Was that easy? Was that difficult? It, it was relatively easy because all you needed to do was break the sticker, so it wasn't too difficult. So for the elderly viewer, it might be a good option. It's the easiest so far for the elderly viewer, I would say. And there might be some elderly viewers who shop at Morrison's. It's possible. Let's see uh, where we are then. Uh, a little bit more difficult to get out of the packet. Oh, they are shallow. They are these these could not possibly be described as deep fill. No. They are shallow. That wouldn't be right. But that tea is definitely blocking them. Can you put your tea there? Don't. Although the foil comes off very easily. These are a shallow mince pie. Very much so. I'm going to be very interested in the mince to pie relationship here. Simple mm. dusting on the top for the decoration. Yeah, there's no decoration, no, not so is there? It's like you've just left your mince pie out in the snow. Yes, it's quite like mm. that. This is very shallow actually. Okay. What do we have? For how shallow it is, there's there seems not... to be a generous amount of yeah. filling, but in general not so much. I'd also like to point out the amount of crumbs that are left on the plate. You know, it's just a... Is that a lot? That. Or a little? It's a lot. Okay. So what you're suggesting is that expressed as a percentage of mince pie, a goodly proportion might end up just on the plate. However, one taste test. It's quite good. It's good. The, the sugar dusting on the top quite affects the, the, the sugary mm. taste of it. I don't think there's enough mince in there. No, the ratio is a little bit out. Um, I think that the the pastry. I'm getting a a very significant taste. I'm getting a kind of almost like a burnt taste from it. A little bit. I was going to go for almond, but yeah, it is sort of burnt. That tastes it. I'm not saying that it is. I, I, there's also there's there's also fruity stuff going on, you're quite right. And there is something nut-like in there, somewhere along the lines. Um, they are incredibly shallow. Yes. Um, I think that... Well done. Uh, I think that the amount of mints per pie is not quite high enough for me. I think there's an awful lot of crust there. And very little mints. I do like the taste of it though. Right. Well, good housekeeping, don't even review these. Good housekeeping, um, don't, they, there are Morrison's deep filled mince pies. Actually, we've had some of those this year and they were not good. Not so impressed. I'll tell you what we're not going to do is we're not going to re re review any of the value ranges because life's too short, really. Um, 
these are not these Morrison's deep filled mince pies. There's nothing deep about these. No. But they are the same sort of price. Uh, there we go. Um, so entirely unreviewed. Uh, these are for the, from the local store in Bristol. Um, the benchmark is the Kipling, which was your 9 out of 17. I seem to remember um, some while back the Tesco, the Tesco Finest, you went to 12 out of 17. Where does this come from? I'd like to say about 7 or an 8, probably more towards 7, for the fact that it is really shallow and the ratio of uh, filling to crust is... But you like the taste? I do really like the taste of it. I think it's quite sweet and I don't know what that weird sort of burnt almondy taste is. Well, it it might be like that it. these were made by Nigella and that's a dusting of cocaine. Who knows? You never know. It's possible. Either way, it does taste nice. So I would, although because it is very shallow and you don't actually get a lot of milk. Uh, it, it, would be, it would be a bit of a, a rum do to criticise a shallow mince pie so a non-deep filled mince pie for not being deep filled. I mean that's not what we bought, is it? No, but it doesn't say that it's a shallow mince pie, it just says... It doesn't say that it's shallow, but equally it doesn't say that it's deep filled. So... Well, putting, taking that into consideration... I wouldn't, want it, I wouldn't want it to lose points on the grounds that it, was, it wasn't something that it wasn't purporting to be. Well... See, I liked the Kipling, I did, because it had so much filling, but then again, that was a deep filled one, so... I've had a dilemma. I... No, you're right. Maybe the, a nine. The proof in the pudding, the proof in the mince pie, is on the plate. Everything that goes into it beforehand is entirely unimportant. What's on the plate? Do you want to eat them again? How much do you want to eat them again? Do you want to eat them again? A seven, an eight, or a nine? What, 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 what? I'm going to go for a nine. I would like to eat them again. A nine. So it so comes in on the same level as the Kipling. Yes. Which is, and, and in fact, the highest of all our pies that isn't a deep fill. That is true. Also the lowest. Yes. I think we should eat them. I think we should. Thank you. Thank you.